Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. In fact, this guy just spawned up here, so we're going to have to take him out. Now, before we do that, I should say most of my dwarves did die or... Uh, they didn't have very much stuff on them in the first place, so some of these guys do not have uh, the pickaxes that we finally just made. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on the guys. I'm also going to put the axes. This may be a mistake because they may die here in just a second, but, uh, you know, if they have it, I'm going to put it on them, and we'll worry about the other stuff later on. So these guys all have weapons. They all have pickaxes now. And, uh, you know, I guess I'll put an axe on this guy as well. Some of them... I uh, will actually get pretty decent armor because I do have some mithril to go around uh, and some gold. So <laughs> at least one of these guys will be somewhat protected. The downside to that is even with that stuff on, from what I've seen, uh, they really don't last that long. Like it really doesn't do that much for them. But since this is our very first dwarf, I'm going to give him that, uh, the mithril. And I kind of want to give him the helmet, but the mithril armor does so much uh, protection. It's 40 protection. And the, the gold armor only does 30. And I think the helmet does 15, maybe? 16, okay. So what I could actually do is spread it out instead of just giving it all to one person and, uh, you know, give the helmet to somebody else. But I'm not going to do that. I like the way it looks when he's decked out almost in a full suit. The only thing he's missing is, is uh, his shoes. So I'm going to give that to him. I'm going to come back here and give this guy a wooden helmet because a wooden helmet's better than no helmet at all. And some of those items I can actually recycle, so I think I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to go in there and see if we can uh, get rid of some of these clothing. Because there are a few things I want to build, but I don't have the wool. And <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go get it. Uh, I think it was Tamara that let me know that uh, I made a, a snap decision when I first started the, the level. I looked around and I kind of saw what was where. And I looked at those creatures and I was like, well, they look pretty fierce. I'm not going to go anywhere near them. Yeah, there we go. So we got a little bit of leather, we got a little bit of feathers out of that. Let's see, what about the Tinker's hat? Can we do anything with that one? Okay, a little bit more leather. Yeah, even some glass in that one, I guess, from the goggles. I like how they integrate that in there. Like, we get feathers out of this one, we get glass out of this one, and it's really completely random what hat your guys start with. As far as I can tell, there's no rhyme or reason uh, behind it, really. Oh, wow, we're getting some dye out of that. That's not easy to make. That's going to come in handy later on. Uh, some needles... And a little bit of leather, so we didn't get any wool out of that, unfortunately, but it's still not that bad. Let's see, we can get rid of these. Eh, we're going to get rid of the stone ones, because we really don't need that anymore. Get a little bit more wood, we definitely need that. Uh, in fact, we got quite a bit of wood out of that, so that's going to be pretty nice. What do we need to work on to get our skill to go even higher? Because we're trying to get over to the wooden traps, okay? So we either need to make some more bows, which again, I don't think I have the wool to do, or some steel clubs. I guess we can do that. Because I don't think we have the stuff for archer's gloves, right? No. Uh, wait, no, we have leather, right? I thought we got a whole bunch. Oh, we got fabric. That's what that was. Okay, so let's see. We need to make a few more bows. And we do have the stuff for that. Uh, let's see. Can we make any more rope? No, we can't. Okay, well, that sucks. How close are we? Actually, that should level us up, so as soon as they get done building those those bows, and I think they still have like seven left to build, uh, we should be pretty uh, pretty set on, on getting close to where we can actually start building some traps. Now, we'll probably need a lot more wood before uh, we're able to really make any, any headway, because we do have a wave incoming here, and I don't know if we're going to get done in time. I mean, that's 28 minutes, yeah, but still, things go so slow when you first start the levels. It's because you got to get, like, a footing in, and every level it's been a little bit progressively harder, and it's taken a little bit more time to do it, and so I'm not really thinking that we might get there. Like, if, it, if this was, like, the second level, I'd be like, oh, yeah, we're going to get there easily, but because this one is such, uh, you know, a different experience than all the other ones, you know, I don't want to get overconfident, because any time I've ever done that, I usually suffer pretty greatly, and we've had some pretty big setbacks. Uh, on this playthrough already. I don't like doing those uh, because I feel like such a new every single time. It's like, why were you rushing? Why didn't you just take your time? You knew better and you did it anyways, you know? So, yeah, I, uh, I want to take things a little slower if I have to. And this guy doesn't have a helmet. Why didn't I give him a helmet? Uh, let's see. Yeah, this guy. Oh, he's, uh, you know what? He was a new guy because I was like, I, he should have had everything that he needed. Um, 
they still haven't made the bows, but I'll go ahead and give him a pickaxe and an axe. At the very least, he can use one of these. I believe it's the same amount of damage on each one. Yeah, it's 15 damage for that one, uh, for the axe, and it's another 15 damage for the pickaxe. Now, they don't stack on top of each other. I kind of wish they did, because I think that would be a cool thing to have. Uh, but, yeah, because they, they chose that, you know, they're only really using one weapon at a time. When they combine those two together, or the three weapons together in games, it's almost like an RPG aspect that, you know, the weapons themselves have, like, magical abilities that, like, stack on top of each other or something like that. Because in real life, you're only using one. Or, at most, maybe two if you know how to, like, dual wield or something. But, you know, these guys are miners for the most part, and even when you give them the skill war, maybe then, yeah, maybe if you gave them the skill... Uh, as a warrior, then they would get the ability to dual wield and have like two weapons on them or something. That might make sense, but any of the other ones really wouldn't. Because um, there's no reason why a miner would ever use two pick pickaxes at the exact same time. Like, that's just not practical. So I doubt that would ever, you know, actually happen. We're going to put this down here. That way they can get up there a little quicker. Uh, and I think... I think we're going to come over here because there are some creatures that I want to kill. I believe it was... Uh, Tamara that was telling me, you know, like I said before, I made a, a pretty quick snap uh, decision on these guys, and I thought they were going to be really dangerous, but I think they are actually uh, a viable, like, food source and things of that sort, almost like the, uh, like, sheep and stuff are in the other levels. They just look really, really cool looking, and because they're so tall and so big, they were kind of menacing to me at first, because everything in this level was supposed to be really hard, and it is... But I think there's still going to be some easier stuff here, and I think like this is the stuff uh, that should be that way. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple portals down over here. That way I don't have to watch it the whole time. Uh, we do need to get a little bit more food going. We really haven't gotten to that point yet, but I really, really think the only way we're going to be able to uh, compete for food on this level in, in a meaningful way is to get to the mushroom uh, local cuisine section so we can actually start doing something with like the hundreds of mushrooms we already have. Uh, but before we can get there, we have to go through the basic processing. Uh, and that's not stuff I really want to mess with right now because I want those bows to finish so I can come over here and start making my wooden traps. And once we get to the wooden traps and I have a nice little section up here that makes me feel, you know, comfortable that I can survive like a wave or two uh, without losing like all my dwarves, then I'll go back and do this and, and I'll mess with like the advanced furnishing and I'll fix up my base. Because you can see it's not really the most efficient design. Like they have to go through so much work just to come up here to the to the warehouse or whatever to drop stuff off like it's just, just not something I really want to keep like this because I keep having to use my portals and at some point my power is not going to keep up with it like these guys are going to be going through way so way too quickly oh there we go it's a caterpillar it's harmless due to the absence of predators these cat caterpillars can reach epic size they are covered with a thick wool to protect them from the cold cave drafts so that just explains it. They're like the harmless caterpillars you see down here, but because, uh, you know, there's just not a lot of enemies to kill them, uh, they just grow enormously. And I guess they probably drop close to the same stuff. Like, why is there a bow down here? I forgot. Did somebody die down here? I don't remember anybody dying down here, but I am going to pick that up because bows are very, very important to me right now. In fact, there's one guy walking around without a bow, and I really don't think my guy's could survive this level without that bow. Like, they were all dying when they had to do melee. It was only after I got the bows that I actually started to have a chance at, you know, actually killing these guys without losing my dwarves over and over and over again. It was just ridiculous. And so I think if I had to play this level over again, if I could give any advice to somebody who hasn't started it yet, I would say get to the bow as fast as possible. Uh, in fact, I can show you what you kind of have to go through to get that. It's really not that hard if you think about it. You just have to go over to basic furnishing uh, and kind of go in. Uh, I guess you do kind of have to work for it a little bit, but I think you can get there rather quickly. I mean, it really would only take wood. Like, if you just got a buttload of wood right off the right off the bat, you could do the basic woodworking, go to basic armor, and then again, that's just wood, and then boom, you're already on basic weapons. It would be that easy. And I think if I had done that first, rather than kind of messing around with uh, my basic tools and uh, the basic, uh, you know, illumination and stuff like that, I don't think we really would have run into, you know, 90% of the problems that I've kind of run into already. Uh, but then again, I didn't know that. I didn't know that get the bows if you think you're going to have a difficult time doing something because they can stay ranged. And 
you know, like I said, if I just had to give one piece of advice, that that would definitely be it. So, let's see. We do have a bow done. Uh, two people that need a bow. So, I'm going to give you a bow. And then I need to give you something. Uh, I guess until I give him a bow, the best thing I can do is at least give him a steel club. Uh, because it's 20 damage. I just hope I remember to come over here and take it off. And we're going to give you a helmet as well, because I have tons of those helmets. And I do have a few more hats I could take apart, but I don't really need to do that just yet. I mean, I, I do know that's going to be a thing eventually I, that I'll have to do. And I do want to come over here and take these out as well. Every time you kill, or I should say, every time you destroy one of these guys, one of the big guys spawn over here. And what I could do is I could actually seal it off with a brick right here. In fact, I think I'll do that. Oh, that's why they have so many so many torches. So we're going to have to remove this torch. And let's put a portal over here. In fact, if I can catch this guy in time. Oh, that's where he's going anyways. Okay. Because sometimes they get locked into their their path that they were set to take before you put a portal down. And then once you put it down, you'll see some of them will actually uh, jostle or stop or pause. And then reverse their position back to the portal. Why other ones will continue on. It's just because it didn't get the update, you know, like it, it it should have realized now there's a, a better portal. Half of them did and the other half didn't. I don't know if they did that on purpose as a way to show that, you know, they're dwarves and they're not always exactly the smartest thing at figuring stuff out. It's kind of annoying, but it does kind of make sense in that regard that, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe half of them, you know, got the hint. Oh, there's a little portal over there. I should go over there instead of walking 900 miles in the opposite direction up this huge, you know, uh, mine shaft and stuff like that. And, you know, the other half don't get that. And so it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. I, I like it, but it's, uh, it's weird at times. Like at first I didn't, I didn't get it. Like, why would they do that? But I kind of, you know, it, it does make sense. It's just, uh, I would not be upset if they took it out. <laughs> you know, like uh, it kind of adds to the story, but not so much that uh, I enjoy it. You know, it's just kind of there. It's one of those things right down the middle where most days I probably don't like it. But on a few days, you know, okay, let's kill this guy. And the cool thing about this is if they're smart, they're going to sit over here right where these guys are and just blast them with their arrows. Now, I guess he's freaked out because he's probably wanting to attack one of my archers. And my melee guy is kind of throwing that off, but this is ideally the kind of setup that I would want for the outside of my base if I was going to use these archers. Because look how quickly he just killed two of my dwarves. And they had decent stuff on I me. Mean, not, not the greatest stuff, but they had decent stuff. One of them had gold armor, and he died as well. So uh, you really can't do it with, uh, with your melee stuff. It's just not viable. And those who have the melee stuff, it's almost, uh, you know, a death sentence because when you do something like this it's just they're not going to survive it's they're going to be dead so i would almost rather give them nothing than uh, give them melee weapons now because it just uh it sucks like that's not going to be a viable there we go we got our gold arm i thought we had more gold armor oh it dropped armor nice i like that okay so we're going to put this gold armor on this guy wow those things can really drop some great stuff Oh, I can't wait to get some more of that that uh, those little goodies. Oh man, we have another one over here too. I kind of wanna. I get yeah, we're gonna chop it. I kind of wanted to wait and uh, let my other dwarves spawn, but I think the fact that all we have left are our archers, that's gonna be better off for us in the meantime. I mean, because they're gonna be able to sit over here in safety like they did last time, uh, without the hassle of having like a melee guy come in here and cause like weird issues or something because. He's moving the guy around and causing some weird aggro issues, which didn't happen too much on the last one, but I have seen it in the past. Come on, guys. You can do this one. Don't go in there. That's all you got to do is not go in there. And you'll see that they don't even hit the, the mob every single time. Uh, at this range, they hit it a lot more than they would otherwise, but this is amazing. This is exactly how it should be done. So if you guys come over here to this area and you uh, you know have watched this video, another great tip, I would suggest doing this right here and having your archers and just waiting to that point. I mean, I know you want to get in here because the, the chances of getting some really good loot is, is definitely there and it's going to help you out early in the game. But if you can get to the, the archer stage, uh, you're not going to have any casualties and you're going to be able to go through every single one of them, one right after the other. And you could actually use that experience to time when you're going to level. Like, I'm really close to leveling. So if I go down a little bit more and I mine the next one, 
uh, which has like four or five little areas over there that I could mine for these things, and I set it up right, I mean, that might be able to level me, so. But I'm already really low on my power, so I'm not really going to be able to take advantage of that. Let's see, where's the other one? I thought there was one a little further down. Did I already get those? I might have already got those. I think they were down here. Oh, that sucks. It sounds like there's a a, a dragon over here. Yeah, it sounds like there's a dragon over here. So we're going to come over here just to see what it is. Because if there's a dragon, those guys have a chance of dropping the stuff too. Uh, and I definitely want to kill some dragons after I found that out on the last one. Now, they're going to be pretty hard to kill. But again, if I could set it up where... Well, none of those guys breathe fire. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's... Oh, my God. There's skeletons and stuff in here. This is cool. Put a light down, guy. Put a light down. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at there's oh this is Oh, uh, he was gonna put a torch down too. No, there he is! Oh no! Get out of there! Get out of there, no! Oh man! This is really, really cool. And he's really not doing that much damage. I don't know if he's supposed to be a guardian or what. Oh crap, you need to get out of there. Run already. Run! Oh, he's going to stay there and just die. I know it. Okay, get out of there. <laughs> oh, my God. That is pretty cool. Let me take this guy over. Oh, no. You suck. Here we go. Okay. So I am going to put that block back. Seal it up. And we are going to release this guy and then release them so they can go out of... Uh... Wow. Getting a lot of hiccups on this lately. See, where am I under attack? Oh, no, guys, do something. Literally, do something. You're not on a lockdown anymore. I lo oh, there we go. Oh, man. I gotta watch out for that. They can be pretty deadly when they spawn up here. And now there's two of them. Yeah, this is... It's because I went down there to fight that dragon. If I hadn't done that, my guys wouldn't be so low on life. Uh, maybe if I can get a few more guys in here rather quickly and, and uh, equip them. I think we might be able to do this because they are making headway. It's just uh, they're losing a little bit more life than I would prefer. Oh, man. Come on, give me another guy already. 34 seconds. I think we're probably going to lose a couple in that amount of time. Oh, dang it. Ooh, get out of there. Get out of there. It doesn't seem like uh, they hit you every single time either. Like, uh, oh, they're so hurt they're running away. Yeah, see, they could kill these guys little by little, but because they're hurt now... I don't know if I can get them to come back. Like, this guy's so hurt, he's still running in the opposite direction when he could have went and gotten to sleep. Doing nothing. Where was he going? Was there something over here to pick up? I bet there's, like, pieces of wood that they didn't get last time. Or was he trying to go through the portal? Like, there's there's nothing up here. I don't see anything. Hmm. And I forgot to be over there when they killed that... Uh, that caterpillar, because I wanted to see what he dropped. Oh, there we go. I do have... Uh, he's already hurt so much, he doesn't want to be there anymore either. That sucks. Man, I needed to be a lot quicker on that one. Uh, let's give you some stuff, even though you're about to die. Maybe help you out a little bit. Maybe not. Let's see. Maybe uh, it will update, and he'll realize, oh, I can, maybe can I throw in a few attacks here and there. No, he's saying, where's my bed? I don't. Yeah, there we go. Because you don't have a bed yet. I don't think I have enough enough beds for all my dwarves. Ew. Oh my god. He, he's so close to being dead. It's it's just uh, it's crazy to see that. Come on. Okay, I got a few more guys coming back to the fight, maybe? I just need to... Uh, oh man, what a horrible place to, to choose to fight. Get out of there, you... Oh no. You guys are just wasting your life. <laughs> You went all the way back, you rested for a little while, and then you came back when you were you were high enough on life just so that you could come over here in like the worst placement possible on the stairs rather than over here where it's flat, like you couldn't have waited until they were here. Uh, and then you lose that in like half a second, and it takes like 20 minutes before you get it again. Oh, no. Yeah, if this was so much flatter, they'd be having an easier time doing this. So I think maybe I'll do that. I think I'll, maybe I'll, I'll level it out. The only reason I wasn't doing that before is because I didn't know that they could build these these ladders so easily. Uh, because they can't... Oh, no. Oh, that's because they got a double hit right there. That sucks. 
And he was wearing the mithril stuff too. Oh no, they're climbing up after him. No! Oh, there we go, guys. Unbelievable. Oh my god, that is just heart wrenching when you watch him die left and right like that. Although I think we still came out more ahead on that one than we would have otherwise. Uh, but they have so much stuff to pick back up, and I have to reassign that mithril armor. And that mithril armor was for the dwarf who lasted the longest. Like now, my maybe not my strongest dwarf, because I don't have anybody who really has a skill in anything I really want to keep. Like, uh, he's a mage. Be nice for later on, but at the very beginning, uh, you know, I don't have the ability to make that stuff, and I'm not going to get it for some time now, so. There he goes. I was like, what happened to my mithril armor? Ah, oh, come on. Turn it in already. Okay, so my gold guy is going to be my number one guy. Okay, my number two guy as well. So we'll make Mithril our number three guy. And... now oh, you already got a good hat. That's right. Okay, so I just got to keep up with the other guys just in case. But, oh man, I can't believe that happened. That just sucks so bad. Okay, let's get this guy outfitted so you do not suck. Don't waste your life. <laughs> if they don't have that bow... Oh man, it's just it just spells doom. Let's put this on you. Okay, now you guys don't have anything to do, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so come over here and get some wood because we need to we need to build some traps now that we finally can. I think we actually have quite a bit of wood saved up. Well, not quite a bit. I mean, it's 27, so better than nothing at least. Let's go ahead and make as many traps as we can. I'm going to put them down here, and we're going to start putting that stuff down. Again, you get traps immediately upon uh, making them. It's not something they actually have to go and, you know, build or whatever. So it's really, really nice. And there could be trees here. There can be water down here. There we go. Protect your home. 1,600 points of experience, cooking campfire, and an iron axe. Okay, that's not too bad. And we get an extra guy. We get two extra needle crystals and four extra log bridges. I don't really like using the log bridges ever since I found out that they have a higher chance of falling off these things than the stone ones. And they fall off of these things all the freaking time. Like, it's so bad that you have to put, like, a ladder underneath it. So, yeah, I would say if you can avoid using these things, uh, don't even bother. They're, they're almost completely worthless. And they're more hassle, actually, than they're, in my opinion, anyways, than they're really worth. I mean, it's just one thing that you have to deal with it after another on that uh let's think do we do all the way over here i guess we do because sometimes they literally spawn like right here and so we kind of want this entire area at the very least and definitely over here because this is where they go back to and i wish i could do it under the water as well but we do not have a scuba helmet so that's something we really can't fix right now so i'm going to leave like that and i'll save the other two traps just so that we have some backups when these uh, go down. I'll be able to put some down more uh, immediately upon doing that. And I don't think I need to put any up here because I don't remember them really coming over here all that often. Like, they will, but it's it's pretty rare. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave those ladders there because it seems to be pretty easy for my guys to get around like that. Uh, let's see. We should come over here and get some more wood because we definitely are going to need that. And these are pretty big trees. We'll get some of these uh, fruits as well. Hmm. Um, do we come over here? I guess we will eventually, but I'll make a portal for that when we do that. Or maybe even all the way over here. I do like how it's kind of off by its own self. I really, really wish you could move your base, you know? And it would almost be like a Command & Conquer game where you could choose where you wanted to do the fighting, you know? And like it would be like, oh, okay, this is a good spot to put down my base, and I'll put a towers over here, and I'll even use the terrain and stuff like that. You don't really get to do that in this one. Like, you have to just go where they want you to be when you first start off and change that area the best of your ability uh, in the shape and form that you want. And it takes a long time to, like, shape the ground and stuff to get these really, you know, elegant, huge walls and stuff like that. And early on in the game, you have way too much time or other stuff to do to have that kind of time. So I just kind of wish that you could move it around and take advantage of those features uh, and then later on when you're like oh, okay now I want to expand and you know make the the land look however I want and you know really shape it 
you could move the base yet again or build another one, which you can actually later on, later on is build another one. But you could never get it to be the center of attention. Like anytime you create a portal, the return portal is always at this base. It's not at the new ones that you build, the new warehouses. It doesn't work like that. The, the magic is centered around this area. And when you get a new dwarf, he comes through the little gate right here. That is centered here. It, it does, it's nowhere else. When you build another warehouse, it doesn't do that. So I really wish you could move this to some other area and kind of move them around the map a little bit here and there. Or at the very least, put down a warehouse and then assign that to be this, you know, like the main one. And so you still have the ability to move your main base around, but not for some time. And you have to choose like which one's going to be your, ne your next one. You actually have to go there and build it. So you're not just like zapping around the map, you know, very quickly and kind of cheating a little bit. You know, like they could make it difficult to do, but make it, you know, something that you could actually do. Like right now, there's no way to do that. That's just not a possibility. So uh, I do want to come over here and kill this guy. I guess we can try that. We'll put a portal down right over here. In fact, no, we're going to save that for the next episode because that might be a very, very bad idea and I'll probably lose a lot of dwarves in the process. And if I do, I don't want to cut the episode short while I am trying to, uh, you know, get out of that sticky situation and not die because there is another, another wave coming in about... 12 minutes and my guys are still sleeping so yeah i think we'll go ahead in the episode here again guys if you do enjoy these videos be sure to hit that like button subscribe definitely helps grow my channel and i greatly appreciate it also make sure to leave those comments down below uh rob was actually mentioning on one of the the comments that i should give this guy some food or not some food some uh, some dirt and some slime so i'm thinking i'm gonna try that but again i needed to get a handle on the situation down there at my base and so I've been kind of putting it off here because I still have to kill this guy over here on the right. And I don't know if this guy will attack me or not, but if he does, I need to be ready for that as well. So uh, it's just going to have to uh, wait a little bit longer, but I am going to get to that as soon as possible, guys. So again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.